Hey, what's up, peoples? Hey, what's up? It's Rasta Boy TV, and it's your boy, the real Rasta Boy, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all at the same same time. The Grammy 2016 just went off on CBS, and I hope y'all were watching because I was watching, and I'm telling y'all I I have my notes here because I wanted to make sure that I had my shit jot down. My my, I had to make sure I had my shit together because y'all be coming for me sometimes, telling me about oh you need to write your stuff down so you can you know okay, but I like freestyling. Anyway, happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there who celebrated Valentine's Day yesterday or whenever over the last few days. I ain't got no Valentine's, so I just sip cocktails and chill in the house yesterday and did nothing. But anyway, the Grammy was on tonight, and I know y'all are watching. It was all over social media from Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm sure there was Snapchat in it too, and all that, all that, all that stuff. Um. It was everywhere. I can't even touch on the fashion because E News or E T V, my E News, sorry, E E T the E channel that normally gives a red carpet was messing up. They were broadcasting in Spanish on my TV here in um Delaware. So I didn't get a chance to really focus on the fashion tonight on the red carpet. I did see a couple of fashions. Um no, it didn't really stand out to me tonight in the fashion category, um, on the red carpet, that is. Um, so I can't really comment about anything yet. I may have to go review some of the pictures before I give my two cents about, um, what I thought about tonight's fashion on the red carpet. Anyway, I'm not here to give about the fashion. I'm going to give about the mess that I saw tonight on the Grammys. Some of the highs and some of the lows. LL Cool J hosted. Did a marvelous job. And the people keep on asking, why is LL Cool J hosting the Grammys for all these time? Every year he's hosting. And the only thing I can say is, probably first of all, I think he works on a CIS, one of them CIS franchise that is shown on CBS. He also, LL Cool J is very easy in the eyes. He looks good. You know, he has some yummy lips. Um, he's very muscular. He looks good on TV. So, I'm not sure. I probably have a good relationship with the, um, the, the Rock Horror Academy. So, they keep on reusing him. I guess once he did that, Whitney Houston um, hosting. When, he, when, was, when, he, when Whitney died, and he had to host the, um, the Grammys. And a couple of times. So, so, I guess he's been doing a good job. So, they liked him. You know, why... You know, they say if something's not broken, why fix it? So I guess they found somebody who they can always use for hosting a Grammys that, you know, not going to be saying some, you know, shit that I got to bleep all the time and, you know, you know, do dumb shit. You know, he's just easy on the eyes. He's, he's laid back, chill and cool. Everybody likes him. So I guess that's why. I don't know. But I'm just giving you my take about what I, why I thought he's being used so often um, as host of the Grammys. So the um the opening act for tonight Grammys were was um Taylor Swift. She opened the Grammys with some shit I don't even know. Some shit I don't know. She was she did look good. I would comment that she come commend her for wearing that jumpsuit. Um because she had she came on a red carpet in this tube top ensemble with um like one of them high waist skirted two different colors and I, I was not for that outfit at all but I like the fact that she would have jumps and perform but the song that she did I'm sorry but I, I did not buy 1989 1979 1929 I didn't buy nothing that she sold it was on another radio that I could hear it I was not listening to it from Taylor Swift so sorry for all the Swifters out there if that's what you call yourself but I did not buy any Taylor Swift songs or albums so I didn't really know that song, you know, wasn't one of the popular ones. It was not like, um, it was not like, um, the song I shared with Kendrick Lamar or the other ones that were popular that crossed over in, you know, the other music genres. So I was not familiar with that song, Taylor, and it was not really good. So sorry, I'm not hating, but I'm just saying. Um, other than that, Kendrick Lamar won, I think he won five. I'm not sure if he won more than five, but he won five at a time of him performing um he rap he won um best um what do you mean from, um best rap album good job Kendrick good job and let me I see not talking about his winning the rap best rap album let me just go ahead and talk about him winning and then when he performed oh I'm sure they y'all gonna swarm Social media tomorrow, today, the rest of the week about Kendra Lamar's performance. Y'all, you know, 
comparing it to Beyonce during the um, the formation performance um, at the Super Bowl. So, you know, it's all, all about some kind of black empowerment. So I'm sure y'all gonna be dissecting the hell out of this performance that Kendrick Lamar did. I, actually, I, want, I, I will go on the record right now at whatever time it is tonight and say that Kendrick Lamar was the best performance tonight. Best performance tonight at the Grammys was Kendrick Lamar. He came up with... Um, I would say, I would say, is it prison uniforms? I don't want to say it wrong. I think they came out in prison uniforms with chains and stuff. Sets, you know, have his message and he was spitting fire. He sounded good. The whole production was good. Kendra Lamar, tens across the board. Tens, tens, tens across the board. Also, The weekend performed. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. That's what, they, that's what he did. I don't know what he did. He did one of them songs. Even now, sitting down. I like the weekend. I have his album. However, tonight it was just blah. I'm not. I didn't dig him in his outfit tonight. Him wearing that tuxedo was good for the um red carpet. But I wanted to see you get in your own element. I don't mind. Yeah, we, the weekend. I wanted to see you dressed down, relax. Cause I know that's not you, kinda. Anyway, he did okay. It was not my fave. Um, Andrea Day and um Ellie um Golden. The best duo of tonight. I almost said them. Carrie Underwood and um, Sam Hunt did theirs, but I'm not for them. But Andrea Day and that girl Ellie Golden, better ones. You know, um, you know, um, you know, um, Andrea Day has that Rise Up song that's very strong. Rise up, yes. And then um, Miss Ellie Golden has um. What are you waiting for? Love you like you do. Love you, love you like you do. Touch me like yeah, that's my shit. You know, I be I be getting my white boy on sometimes. I be like, I'm just like, oh, I'm scratching my head. I'm like, oh, am I singing along to that song? Yes, I like me some good song, no matter what color the person is. If the song is good, the song is good. Also, Gwen Stefani premiered her new single tonight during the commercial break. That it seemed like it was. Verily paid for by Target because they, you know, sponsored it. Obviously, you know, sponsor it, something is always good because you know you use their money and make sure you know <laughs> if they don't get back their returns on it. Oh well, but the song was really cute. I like the video and I want to get the song. I'm, I, I guess I'm gonna find it. Um, it's gonna be exclusively available at Target. I'm um, I think sometime in March. The album that was good marketing strategy for you, there, Gwen Stefani, because we know we have not got any. Music or album for you in a little while. The only music we've got for you in a long from you in a long time is that mess that you you know sorry not not mess sorry your relationship that you have with Blake Shelton on the Voice. So other than that, I'm glad for new music. The video looks good and she does look good. She's like forty some. Go go ahead, Gwen Stefani. You look good, girl. Bruno Mars um introduced um Adele and she came out and did some new song. Sorry, I was looking for hello, hello. I was, I was hoping for she start with Hello first and then transition to the new song. I didn't really feel it. She did sing her fucking heart out, but I did not feel the song. I don't know what song it is. And again, I did not buy 25, 26, 26, 28, whatever age she is. I did not buy the album, so I didn't know what song it was. But the song was our, the singing was okay. The song was not my fave for Medell. She did look good also. She did change the color of her dress. She was wearing something burgundy-ish, reddish dress, other than the usual black. And she had a little bouffant looking hairdo up. So I'm like, okay, I'll do it. Justin Bieber was a mess. He did a remix of some of the um his new song. And I don't know what it was. He looked a mess. The song sounded a mess. I don't know. The performance was a mess. I was not digging it. Um, last but not but not last, Megan Trainer won Best New Artist. Congrats to you. People out there talking about um, you know, Tori Kelly should have win. Everybody gonna say their favorite should win. Tori Kelly had her time. She nominated. That's a good thing. So Megan Trainer win. Oh well, let live with it. Gaga destroy the David Bowie performance. She was another good performer of the night. She she embodied David Bowie and she did the damn thing. Also, Taylor Swift won um, Best um, um, Album of the Year, and she shaded Kanye West for filth about him taking credit for her career and all that stuff. You know, that bitch being on top of the social media um, shit. Kanye has a song about it, and she's not for it, so she read Kanye West. If you want to check the video out, go to my Instagram, The Real Rasta Boy, and you will see the video. Beyonce finally made her appearance, and um, the Beehive was gagging. I wasn't for it, but hopefully y'all like Beyonce. Pitbull closed the show. Oh, well.